All right. So I've tested all the digital data packs that I made. I've also given them all numbers. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, one, two, and three. I've also labeled the ColecoVisions one, two, and three. One is the oldest generation, two is mid generation, and three is uh, end generation, I guess. Uh, that's the order that they were released, from what I can tell with the serial numbers. And from the, <laughs> the, the constant change in the digital data drives, because every single one of them is different in some way, shape, or form. Alright, so the first one we're going to test is the Expansion Module 3. It does, as, uh, as you saw earlier, it doesn't work, but uh, it still sends power to the unit, and uh, when you shut it off, the, the data drive turns. So that means it is getting power, so if it does erase tapes, we're going to find out. Uh, I've moved number one to a position where if it like just deletes a spot on the tape, it'll fuck it up and it won't load anymore. But I, but I verified that each of these loads, at least to the first loading screen. So let's stick it in number one. And um, from what I remember, it's when you shut the machine off that it fucks up. So let's turn the machine on. All right, tape number one goes in the drive. If it'll go in the drive. This is a finicky drive. Maybe it's because, there we go. There we go, we got it in there. Okay, let's shut it off. There we go. I don't know if it'll start spinning or not. But, there we did it twice. So, <clears throat> we'll find out if that's crap now. Now we go to the mid-generation one, which is what I've been testing everything on because it's the only <laughs> fully functional one here. Um, right, let's put it in here, turn it on. Well, to, maybe I should uh, actually put power to the right one, huh? All right, so we got that. It's hooked, that's the one hooked up to the TV, which likes to shut off on me. That sound you're hearing is the uh, <laughs> is the DVD, DVD drive attached to the TV that doesn't work. All right, so let's shove that in there and uh, shut the, shut the thing off. And turn it back on. Now we can find out if it works or not. It looks like it is. It, it's it's doing a seek on the tape here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. It's doing a seek on the tape. Reliably, so far, because the loading screen has come up. So far, so good. Okay, we should get the Buck Rogers screen up here. So far, I'm impressed. And the funny thing is, the first generation one doesn't have a, a trace of any sticker of any sort. This one actually says that do not leave a digital data pack in the drive. One player, skill one. Oh, it's playing. Look at that. Kaboom! I better play it a little bit here. Yeah. Okay, it just threw up right there. Interesting. I don't know if that was a good test or not. <laughs> okay. But this one seems to be not working now. <clears throat> Alright. We got drive number three. Let's shut this off and we'll try. Um, ColecoVision number three. Like I said before, if anyone is going to be working fine without erasing tapes, it's this one. Even though it does have a label on the top here. Alright. Boom! Zap. Let's see if it loads anymore. 
<laughs> okay, it's rewinding, which is a good sign. See if we can get to the uh, level select here. We'll find out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, it loaded. Again, I used to be really good at this game. I played the shit out of it. Ah, fuck. Shoot all the eggs. Oh, fuck. Look at that. From what I can tell, this one is not a racing tapes. Okay. Let's find out if the first one erased the tape. One, one. This one's working. All right. Ah, shit. It looks like the, uh, the expansion module did not erase the tape. It seems to appear that number two is the only one that buggered up the tape. Let's give it one more try in here. See what it does. Because we have two perfectly good working copies of uh, Buck Rogers and one that doesn't. I just want to make sure that it wasn't the copy that fucked up. I just want to make sure before I start entrusting my digital data packs to any of these things. So far this one's the winner. <clears throat> and I don't think it has anything to do with the digital data drive. I'm pretty sure it has to do with the actual console. This tape appears to be working now. Hmm. All right. Let's try number two again. Uh, all right, tape number three, we know that one works. So let's try getting it in there. Turn it on. With the tape in it, of course. Yeah, these max L tapes are working out pretty good. Why is there no AV signal? What? Oh, I know why. I haven't plugged it in. There we go. Okay, I'll play some Buck Rogers. Make sure that it works. Well, we're gonna shut the damn thing off while we're playing it here. Again, proper joystick port will work fine, or will help. Okay, wait for the tape to start loading again. Bork. Here, let's give it a couple of shots here. Just to really see. Come on, you. Race. But the thing about these two, um, these two units is they have the label on them. I, they may have fixed the problem and then just put the label on there just to, you know, to prevent it from happening anymore. So I might have two perfectly good working ones here. It is possible. Anything can happen, right? I mean, this is loading. 
I think the one I put most of my trust in is number three, though, because it's the newest uh, release of it. If anything, I might take all this, uh, including like the front bevel here, because this one's in nicer shape than this one, and just refurbish this one, put the drives in there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I guess I better play the game, huh? Instead of yapping on the camera. So we know this one plays to the second level. There we go. Shoot the pineapple and these... I don't know what these are. Kind of fucking aliens. So I'm wondering if the, uh, the cassette I made was defective because this one's working fine. Here, do it again. And it's just working fine here. So from what I can tell, none of these are erasing tapes. That's a good thing. Yep, yeah, this one's not borked. It seems to be repeatedly loading fine. I think this tape might have been uh, um, a bit defective copying in the uh, Telex. It, like, it wasn't highly reliable, you know, a few of the times that I used it, but it's working with these ones. So there you have it. We have <laughs> three working Coleco Atoms. Well, no, <laughs> two working Coleco Atoms and one dud that that fucking asshole sold me, but we're gonna refurbish this data drive and uh, we're gonna stick it in here. Either refurbish it or you have to fix this one. I think I can't fix this one though because the design of the top piece here is different. So I may have to take the roller out of this one and put it into this one. And that just might have to be the way it is. All right, on to the next part.